So today I'm gonna to show a couple of our top sellers right this very minute that make us thousands of dollars a month straight across the board. Hey, it's Don. Today I wanted to talk about some of our best selling items right now. And these items sell every year at this very same time for good money. It's constant, it's routine every year, it's repeatable. It always makes us good money. So we're gonna go look at those items that are selling right this very second that are making us thousands of dollars. Okay, so usually one of the biggest things we sell right before Christmas are obviously Christmas items. So I'll just give you just a couple examples. Typical Christmas card. This is a gel-faced Christmas card. You see the price that is what it's sold for. And this is typical items we sell all year round. I usually sell more of them, though, for Christmas, obviously. Just another example. Not super scarce Santas. They're, I guess, in the common average range but that's 50 bucks for two of them and we've sold quite a few but what we also sell a lot of are vintage just average everyday christmas cards without santa claus on them and we sell thousands of dollars worth of them sometimes in a week uh, definitely every single month this time of year especially in fourth quarter so one month we could sell three or four thousand dollars in just vintage christmas cards People do art with them, they make Christmas ornaments out of them. They may even reproduce some of the artwork because much of this is public domain at this point. This is just a set of them. 68 bucks if it opens here on us. Just an example, just standard everyday Christmas cards. Another example here. Animals, which we'll talk about in a minute here as well, go right along with Christmas cards from this time frame. It's an average Christmas card, Victorian era, 1880s, 1890s, fairly common, produced in mass quantity at one time, obviously well over 100 years old, but we do sell tons of these, and I'll just give you some more examples. Again, Christmas, it's a dog, nothing again super, super fancy. Didn't go for a ton of money, but we sell quite a few of them. The one good thing about these is one person may buy five or six of them. We've had people buy 20 of them, 50 of them, 60 of them. I think our max record for one person buying a bunch of Christmas cards was around 132 individual listings. And that one person does art projects with them. They do book work and things like that. And they ended up spending in just one purchase a $1,000. Most people who buy these sorts of Christmas cards from us routinely come back as well throughout the season and actually throughout the year. So just a few other ones. A cat in this one. Merry Christmas. Nothing fancy. This one doesn't even really look like a Christmas card. And most value-wise, what we spend buy these, I buy them in bulk. If I'm lucky, I may have a dollar at most in any of these. Usually it's pennies. Again, I'll buy them in mass bulk. I may buy a thousand trade cards at one single time, all from the same person or a collector or a collection. We hunt them down. I, I go across country-wise digitally and pick up what we can. Again, here's another one. Nice Christmas one, 34 25 Another one. Again, they're not all super winners. But thirteen seventy-five for something we may have a quarter into is an incredible amount of profit. Again, this is a little tiny, it's almost like a label you would stick on an envelope. Very small, three and one sixteenth inch by two, so about the size of a poster stamp, seventeen twenty-five. In this case, we got it with a sheet of these, and each one sold for fifteen to thirty-five dollars a piece. I spent a dollar on the sheet, so it's a very easy item to sell. And even some of the cheap ones, I don't mind listing because they always sell. Take this one, for example. This is an embossed. It's uh, Dresden gilt on the face. But we sell every single one of this basic design. We get and yet another one and yet another one. They're all different, all different listings, all different items, but they're basically the exact same postcard. Different people bought them. They sell all year round. We always sell these. We never used to sell these cheaper ones, but these days I can grab up these cheaper ones and make hundreds of dollars in a day sometimes just by listing these very basic, very generic Christmas cards. So this is one of the top sellers starting, well, usually before October 1st, but as of October 1st, we've been selling thousands of these types of items every single month. And again, sometimes I may sell that many in one single day. 
Some months we can make five or six thousand dollars just in these types of items, and that's October, November, and December. So here's another grouping of items we just sold overnight. This sold in less than a day. There's seven hundred dollars in just cat-related items. All of them have cats in them. Different people, different orders. Quite a few, as you can see. Some are related to Christmas. Some have some Christmas themes into it. Um, average price is between forty and sixty dollars a piece for everything you see on the table here. This is just two little categories of items we sell routinely that give us a lot of money. Uh, again, cats, Christmas, animals. Santa Claus this time of year sells through the roof. Usually the, the more Santa Claus postcards we get, the better we are going to do. Cats are something I always list, especially if they're cute, if they're playing. This is a Christmas scene. Some of these are advertising. There's uh, kittens playing on a chessboard. Uh, more advertising. Uh, again, some of these are fairly scarce. This is a very nice Christmas card, Santa. Um, minus, but still, women in there, the cats are probably singing or something. You'd see them all around the roof. Uh, cigar, cigarette item here, cats playing pool. This type of item routinely, and I do mean routinely, makes us hundreds, if not thousands of dollars a month. Santa Claus's Christmas can make us thousands of dollars a month as well. You've got to have some quantity up to be able to sell a bunch, obviously. Right now, this time of year, we've got a ton of Christmas going up. We've got animals, cats, dogs. The pug dog, a pug is one of the highest sellers that we get. So if anything that has a pug on it goes out, we list it, it sells fairly quick. I don't mind if some of this stuff waits or sits in my store because it is going to sell. This is, again, all sales from just overnight and this is not counting a ton of other stuff we've already packed up and more stuff as well that i still have to pull out these are just cat related items in this section here in the 700 dollars sales range for all of them combined the cats that is well there we have it hopefully that gave you some ideas some thoughts if you enjoyed this video please hit that like button down below you can also hit the bell icon to be notified if i post new content or go live Subscribe and tell all your friends. Place in the second house look like again? Why trust it to memory when you can trust it to Polaroid Instant Pictures?